everybody, this is a surprise. I'm back twice in one week. And the reason I'm back, the box. Now, I got my box yesterday because the lovely Pam, who is Sweet Pea Green over on Instagram, let's put her name down here again, came to see me. And last week she'd been to see Andrea over in Ireland. And Andrea said, Oh, if you're seeing Judy, take a box. So she did. And before we nipped off to Castle Howard, we opened the box. Now, it's a bit of a different unboxing because Pam was there and she wanted to see what I'd put in my box. So I'm going to let the footage roll and you can see what happened when we opened the boxes. Right, hello. I am about to do my unboxing because I have got a lovely Pam who is sweet pea, pea, pea green. Sweet pea green on Instagram. I'll put her down there so you can give her a follow. She doesn't want to be on the vlog. You might see the back of her. You might have seen the back of her. You may not have done because I'm filming this before we go. But she's bought my box. So I'm going to tip the camera down. And as you all know, this is live. Is this live, Pam? It is live. It is live. This is the lovely coral coloured Angora. And I knew that Pam was going to Andrea's last week. And I texted Andrea and said, when you meet Pam, is there any chance, because knowing that Pam was coming here, any chance, any chance you could send me some back because I made the Marlowe cardigan in it for Oregon. And it's still in Oregon. Oh dear. <laughs> still in Oregon. So off we go. It's really hard to do this without sort of showing. Yeah. You can see how hard it is now. And you can see how the camera all looks upside down. Mm. But I try and do this. Oh, now, is this a clue that I've got orange? It might be a clue. It might be a clue because you've already had yours, I haven't you? Know. So I've got orange tissue. Now, first of all, I can see something that is going to be super, super, ooh. Ooh, how autumnal is this? Can you see, I can see the fabric underneath this. I'm just gonna zoom in a minute. It's gonna zoom in. There we go. Can you see the fabric in there? Can you see what I'm looking at now? Mm. So here we have the fabric, and if my memory serves me right, it is another jersey. Now, let's have a look. So first of all, we have got pins now. These pins here I find really useful when I'm doing any kind of quilting project, and especially when they're new out the packet like this, they are super, super sharp. If I was working with a wool, or a really heavy fabric, a denim, I would probably use these pins. I can't yes. see the card. No, well. I haven't got the card with the QR code. Oh no, I would have brought mine, had I know. Oh. No, because that was on the outside. Sorry? That was on the outside, so it's not going to be there. Is it underneath your fabric? Or is I'll it have a look. Thing? So. We have a Bailey's salted caramel chocolate. Hmm. I'm okay with Bailey's. I will drink, I will eat, I'm a chocoholic, but I'll eat that slowly. Have you eaten yours? Mine wasn't Bailey's, mine was something else, but yes, that's gone. Oh, well, that's gone, has it? Mm. And we've got here an avocado vegan face mask. Now, oh, this is where I struggle. There, an avocado vegan face mask. I'm always a bit uncertain about face masks because I've got really bad rosacea. Mm. I let my skin, I do actually have to take medication to keep my skin calm, but I will do a back of the hand test and I am not going to say no until I've tried it. So the pins, you're saying they're quite thick. <clears throat> so this long, pin, it's, long. it's a long pin. Whoop. Ooh. It's really hard to get the, so there's the pin. It is a long pin. Mm. It is quite a long pin, but that's a long pin as well. Mm, that's the noise, isn't it? Yeah. And it is, this is a clover blue. And this is a clover re red. But these are going to be perfect for, perfect for the tree skirt. Now I'm going to use one straight away. Because the tree skirt is really firm and I need a nice new sharp pin. I'm going to have to pull this out because I can't see what I'm doing because it's so far in. Yeah. That's better. So the tree skirt, it, these pins are perfect and I have got a gap here on the tree skirt. I had one here where it has come apart already. 
from my tacking because I, when you tack I don't do a very very big knot but this pin it's nice and sharp nice and new and it will go through here like that now it is a tough pin is that and you need tough pins when you're doing quilting like that so I will be using these pins and they're going straight away with the tree skirt into this tree skirt package Pam could you put that on the table for me brilliant so the creme de la creme we have the fabric now I am missing my code for the ebook but by the time you see this vlog I will have the code for the ebook Andrea if you're missing something like this from your box just do not sweat Andrea will send it to you it's a QR code which can quite easily come in a in an email and I'm going to lift it up so I have no idea what the other colorways are but I am absolutely absolutely delighted with that I'm trying to, it's not animal based is it no it's not do you know what I think of it as I can see, you know, like a, a, um, running water. No, that's interesting. What did you think? I, I could see apples. Yes, I can see fruit. There's an and, apple there. And um, Andrea could see tulips. There's a tulip. Where's the tulip? There's a tulip. Hold on. It's stalk, tulip, stalk and leaf. And leaf. Yeah, with the geometric things here. And... I can see water in I can see water that is sort of in a stream mm. or if you've been to the limestone pavement above Malham Tarn yes yes it is a limestone pavement and it is so so autumnal and it will go perfectly with the new leggings that I'm going to make in the green fabric for school it will go perfectly with navy so the thread let's go back to the thread we have got Metla Seraflex. Now I prefer Seraflex to Maraflex because Benina machines prefer Metla threads. Right. I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> I haven't told you who's made it. It's we've had fabrics by these people before. Fabrics for your creativity. So I'm just going to apologise. So I'm all over the place today. I'm just going to apologise because I put these clothes back on. They need to go in the wash. But the garden is calling when I finish doing this. Knowing how long it takes for vlogs to upload from this little corner of Yorkshire, I thought, right, I'll get this done, get it uploaded, ready to go live, and then go outside. So, patterns. Do you know, one thing about vlogging, and hopefully one thing you find out about me vlogging is, I'm very much me. And um, I do stop and start to make certain I've got things right before I give them to you. Right, so what I actually have done, and I've got my laptop back next to me because I thought it would be really good to do some research into the patterns that are available because it's so easy to get stuck in a rut and to, to mention when you get the boxes the same patterns over and over again. So last week I had a bit of a quiet evening and I thought, oh, I wonder what's out there that I could make with two and a half metres of fabric that I could get in a fabric box. So... I am going to start by telling you what is in Andrea's box and what the theme is. Now, Andrea very kindly sent me a picture of the card that goes in the box. Now, I can't show it to you, but what I can tell you is the box is called Relax. And there are three different colourways of the fabric. And they're all pretty, pretty wonderful. I have to say, I'm looking at all three of them now. I've got a picture of them here on my phone. And actually, I don't know which I would have chosen if I had been allowed to choose. It's a pretty, pretty hard thing. I have looked at the book, um, but I'm not going to let that interrupt with what I'm telling you. There is this beautiful, like, ebook that Andrea puts together for it. So the theme is Relax. And I think I can get that now because I have a face mask and I have that lovely bar of chocolate. It was gorgeous. I have to admit, I held my hand up. I have eaten it. So, yesterday I did mention three dresses when Pam was with me. The first one, I can't remember the order I mentioned them in. I mentioned the Miri dress by Wardrobe by Me. Picture here. All the links are in the description box below. That is 
a, a very very lovely dress um, you would make full use of your fabric it's very flattering across the bust shaped around the hips another dress that I mentioned yesterday was the Nomi dress is another lovely pattern by sew over it I'll put a picture in here of Lisa Comfort modeling it as a full-length one but it's a beautiful dress lots of flowing lots of grace with it the other dress I was thinking of from So Over It has disappeared off here. Oh, here it is. And it is a sort of what they call the So Over It Ultimate Wrap Dress. And it was one of their very early on patterns. And again, it's got that lovely wrap and it's got where the, 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 um, the cross, it's got a crossover and it's sort of gathered in. Now, crossover dresses just really don't work for me. I am dressed for the garden. I'm dressed in older clothes I'm really sorry but I need to dress for comfort because I've got so much to do and I'm still cleaning windows but I've got so little up top I cannot fill a wrap dress or a faux wrap dress but what I wanted to suggest were some other patterns that are around and there's a company called Love Notions and they only sell their patterns online and I want to suggest to you what we call what they call the Brecon Ridge Henley I'll put a picture here. Now what I like about it is it's, I like the neckline where it's got five buttons which are all false buttons because there's no buttonholes. And just as a bit of a challenge for you on jersey, it's got the most beautiful neck band. And I'm wondering if that could be something really beautiful. Um, and I've left the picture up but you can see where I'm going around. There's a neck band. There's, an, there's a, a version where it's got a, a, a fold back cuff with a little tab which could be quite nice to do and another version with a curved bottom and cuffs but you can mix them all around and what I was doing when I was looking at these patterns I was looking at the fabric quantities and there is the Naya out there by Tammy Handmade it is like the nation's love of t-shirts at the moment I hold my hand up I'm definitely in, a Naya, in the Naya camp there love it it's comfortable to wear it's flattering to wear I have lengthened mine but with a lot of the patterns I'm showing you especially the, the next two Three. You could probably make a tunic and a nail if you're careful with your cutting. And, and I'm really sorry if I'm going off at tangents, but it's how your mind thinks when you're talking. If you lay out and you want to try and get two garments, get all your pattern pieces out, lay them out in one go. Don't try and cut one and then cut the other because you may find there's a gap where you could have fitted one bit in, which you would lose. So just have a look at the, the material as a whole. And don't forget, you can fold it inwards. So you've got two folds down the side and your two salvages meeting in the middle. Play around with your pattern lay. Be confident, as long as you don't take the scissors to it. If you're uncertain, you can always take photographs on your phone. You can always draw around it with Taylor's chalk. It comes off. Use a friction pen. But just have a play around. But make certain that on your pattern pieces, if you've traced you know how many you need to cut of each so you don't miss a piece. So there's another top tip for today. So, and then the next Love Notions pattern, it's got, I love this one actually, I think this could be really flattering over a pair of leggings. It's called the Vivace Dolman and it comes in three lengths, t-shirt, tunic and dress. It's got a lovely cap sleeve and it's got a lovely neckline that seems to come round the back and then as it comes down here it crosses like this and it's got a little fold. All the links are in the description box below, but again, if you chose the tunic or the t-shirt here, you'd probably get something else out of it. Another pattern I looked at, but I, I have linked in, is the Lark Tea by Grainline Studio. That's another one you could put in. You could probably get a couple of t-shirts out of this. I wouldn't be averse to making a linden out of this fabric as well, because you could get a linden and a nail. Now, the other pattern I'm putting in is the Alex Tea and Dress by Carly Biasson Patterns. They are a French company. Your pattern will be sent to you, PDF. The instructions are in English and in French. But her patterns are stunning. If you've never come across them before, click the link in the box below. When you've got that up, click the home page and look at what she's got. Oh my gosh, she's got so many beautiful patterns. Now, it comes up, you can have it with sleeves, without sleeves, long length, midi length, tunic length, short tunic, between tunic and t-shirt length. 
and if I had the bust I think I could be tempted to make it in fact I could be very tempted to have a go at it anyway because it just looks so beautiful um, so I've put the line drawing in there and then next to it I'm going to pop in a couple of other pictures of it made up first being a long sleeve t-shirt and then as a mid-length dress as well I think that could look absolutely stunning especially for the autumn because the colours I've got are truly autumnal so I'm going to put my computer down I can see myself again now so I know that's been very much a whistle stop tour of the patterns that you can make with this beautiful beautiful fabric and I do hope that what I've shared with you today will give you some inspiration of what to use your new beautiful fabric for so I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching it's this video has been recorded hot on the heels of the other one and thank you so much if you have newly subscribed I've gone over yet another milestone so thank you so much it just makes me feel over the moon when people do that I really feel so very very blessed um, I want to say a lovely thank you to Karen for the coffee that was so generous of you that blew me away I was not expecting that so thank you ever so much if you like what you've seen today give me a thumbs up thank you ever so much for watching anyway give me a send me a comment I love answering the comments and I'm getting really good at answering them and if you've not subscribed click the button and join me on my journey so for now bye bye and I'll see you all again soon bye